It's me holding my coffee in one hand. <laughs> it's part of the <laughs> part of the equipment quick fire. So Walter, where are we at right now? So we are at 3500 Kelvin here in Phoenix, Arizona. We're just about one mile south of the center of uh, Phoenix International. And we are just showcasing a very, very small screen that we have today compared to what we normally assemble. Um, and this one is about 12 tiles by 10 tiles high. And we're showing an environment and how the 3D tracking works to make it a volume and a fully integrated 3D environment rather than just a flat projection. So the parallax helps you integrate the real footage uh, that you're capturing with the live set. And it's very amazing. You call it the volume. Yes. Right? And so as this integrated environment, you're moving it around and it's synchronized with this screen in the back. Absolutely. And so um, to this, you you basically get your final shot without having to build. Imagine how much money it would have cost to build this or to even do a rental if you if you can even find if you can this big. Yeah, that big, empty, mm -hmm. you know, getting the crew there. Yeah, and we just have, if you show over here, we have we have here some of our props, which obviously match exactly what you have there, the style and look. Uh, so therefore, um, you know, the live action set gets fully integrated into the digital content. Wow, and, and what's your screen at uh, capacity wise? You know, you said you think you had to add like a half or or half this or a no, two thirds? No, it's simply the size. I mean, yeah. right now we're running 10 bits and we're running a really good color space. Yeah. I mean, obviously we have a gate open here. We have house lights on. So it's not exactly what the ideal, but we're only testing and calibrating. Yeah, just right now. calibrating. But this is only about half of, not even, it's like a third of what this screen normally is in size. And this is the flat area, and from here, it will start a curve, a 90 degree curve that will come all the way to the columns here. And normally we have about 400 tiles, 400 to 500 tiles all around. So the idea for that is that all that lighting integration uh, projects on the subject and the, the actors and the practical set in a way that looks like you're actually there, you know, not just a flat video. And of course the parallax, that, that's the depth that helps you sell the effect. And then on, on the back end back there, your technical, you know, displays and all the technology you have back here. I mean, you were walking yeah, me through that. Servers that make all this possible. Obviously, they are very high-end servers. These, these look like computers, but they're actually much more than that. These are the disguise servers. And you don't even, this is not a computer that anyone can just come in and start working. This, you don't even touch these unless you have a certification uh, because they are very, very costly. So we have, right now we have two disguise servers that are pumping the content into the volume and two RXs that are rendering the content. And just to give you an idea, one of these RX node, rendering nodes is the equivalent to about 10 RTX video cards, the power that they have. Wow. Because you have to project volume from these two computers there and then make the parallax happen in the flat screen. Wow. So you can see it from here how that's working so great. And so this is Hollywood technology right yeah, here, exactly. right, right here next in to in, in Phoenix, right next to Sky Harbor, hop, skip and a jump from ASU. Absolutely. And of course, we're going to hear a lot of desperate producers in the next few weeks because the Writers Guild strike is about to happen. And there's a lot of cancellations that are going to take place. So I'm, I'm assuming we're gonna get quite a few desperate phone calls from producers trying to get their movie going anyway, because here we have no issues on working with that. Yeah. And um, that's what we are. Of course, the computers are where we create the content. These are our, our workstations where we are running Unreal Engine, but we also use um, Maya, and uh, we also use Blender to create all this content. Uh, 
and you can see it here on the wireframe what it actually looks like without color or shaders so that's what gets uh, projected there through the disguise servers and I have another scene that I'm working on here which is going to be a um, sci-fi hallway and this one will be a completely different environment that will look realistic and convincing yeah I mean it's almost like an outer space scene yes but we're gonna have integration because in the in the Hollywood studios everything is uh, so restricted to budget because anything you do obviously is very costly and a lot of the producers come here and they tell you we need to do this and that's the only thing you're gonna do I can give you an example on this particular scene here you see that end, that very end between the two giant bookshelves yeah that dark area I would say you know what we could actually cut out a couple of beautiful windows there and have some extras on a green screen here walking on a loop through and give that life additional life to the scenery and a hollywood producer will say no way because that's going to cost too much too money too much and we can do that here yeah easily and what's your space here you know how, how much space yes, you got the space we have is uh, this particular space that we're in this we call this studio c this is ten thousand square feet and then we have facilities and office productions which i can show you in a minute we have 5,000 square feet of that, but in total with the you know, warehouse and additional office spaces that we have, we're remodeling that whole area, complete spacing is 45,000 square feet. Plus, uh, north of the, the International Phoenix International Airport, we have a um, 25,000 square feet warehouse where we do the prop shop, carpentry, and all the metal work, metal shop, everything that makes noise is on the other side of the airport. Gotcha. Yeah. So or yeah. Scenery, scenic. Yeah. For, yep. Scenic, Sky Harbor. Um, you can fly right in. Yes. Very accessible. I mean, super close. I think you're so, what a mile away. We have plenty of space for production. PAs that need to work here. Production. And, uh, this, is what we call, this is what we call a green room. The green room is kind of a lounge where people can be in meetings while we are shooting over there they can actually watch the content here on these TVs of what's going on at the stage and whatever is going on uh, behind the scenes. Uh, again, it's a multi-purpose space. Recently, we did the full campaign for the Super Bowl for State Farm, and this actually became the makeup area because we had so much talent coming through. And the parking lot is huge. We had three star wagons parked right here. And this is our conference room. And we had to also repurpose the conference room as a wardrobe area because they have so many uh, clothes changes that it, it was tremendous. And again, we are remodeling. So by the end of April, this place will be completely different. And we're a little bunched up here, but the other side is getting painted and redone. Facilities. Facilities. We have kitchen. A kitchen. And then uh, when you come around here, the idea here is to remove all of these and uh, we inherited this from the previous company it's very aged so this is going to become another lounge area where people can actually sit down and work on their laptops but we also have these which is this is the makeup room and we have uh, here two wardrobe rooms and the additional offices that you see that are empty are usually for producers that would like to have some kind of private conversation that involves money or uh, sensitive information, information. Yeah. you know okay uh, so but again here we have uh, the in-house g you know g and e i um, <laughs> and camera for now uh, temporary here because they're going to be moving to the area we are remodeling the other side of the, of the studio they'll be moving there soon uh, much more comfortable obviously so this is just temporary and that will happen within the next two or three weeks so very very soon rome wasn't built in a day exactly you know so you guys have made a lot of progress in a short time yes and then um here we have just i know they're busy so zach hey zach <laughs> jason and scott uh, hey, hey Scott. Are you? Is it, are you the person I've been talking to on the phone? Yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey. Awesome. Sorry, we're just he's, getting a little. He's one of the partners, uh, along with me and Mac, and 
um, well, we'll, we'll, we'll come back. I, actually, I got, I'll, I'll cut it right here. 